the job is to take the region bound by y equals 2x to the 6th, y equals 2x, x greater than or equal to 0, and then rotate that about the x-axis to wind up with a solid, and we are to find the volume of that solid. Now, if we were to graph the two functions, y equals 2x to the 6th and y equals 2x, we would wind up with this curve, y equals 2x to the 6th, and this line, y equals 2x. And we can see that they would intersect at a couple of points here. And it's pretty easy to find those points. All we would really need to do is take and set those two functions equal to each other. We can subtract 2x from both sides, and we'll wind up with 2x to the 6th minus 2x equals 0. Factor out a 2x, and we'll have x to the 5th minus 1 equals 0. And now we find the two zeros, x equals 0 and x equals 1. So the outer radius, if we were to rotate this thing about the x-axis, we'd wind up with an outer radius of 2x, because that's the linear function, and an inner radius of 2x to the 6th. Because when we rotated this thing, we'd wind up with a solid that if we broke it up into pieces, infinitely small pieces vertically with thickness dx, then we would wind up with a washer-looking object. And we could find the volume of the solid by rotating the line, the region bounded by just the line, and x equals 1, and then subtracting from that the hole that's going to go through this entire object, which would be the volume if we rotated the curve y equals 2x to the 6th about the x-axis from 0 to 1. Now the area of a face of the outer part of the washer would be pi times the radius squared, or pi times 2x, and then the square of that, which would give us 4 pi x squared. The area of the inner part, then, would be pi times the square of that radius, which would be pi times the square of 2x to the 6th, which would give us 4 pi x squared. Now all we have to do to find the volume of that object, then, of that solid, is to find the volume of the disk that would be generated if I rotated the line about the x-axis, and then subtract from that the hole, which would be then what I would get if I rotated the function y equals 2x to the 6th about the x-axis and then integrate from 0 to 1, of course multiplying that in each case by its thickness, because that's how we get the volume, is the area of a face times its thickness. This would then result in what we have here, 4x cubed over 3 from 0 to 1, minus 4x, 4 pi x to the 13th over 13 from 0 to 1, and substituting, we'd have 4 pi over 3 minus 4 pi over 13. Getting a common denominator, we'd have 15 pi over 39 minus 12 pi over 39, which then would result in the volume of that solid, 4 pi, or rather 40 pi over 39.